Have you ever thought about how life is temporal? To be honest, we really don't know how much time we have. Last year at about this time, I was praying for a good friend of mine named Juan Perez Medrano, a 32-year-old man who was battling cancer. Last Easter at the Tillis Center was the last time I saw Juan. Recently, I had a chance to speak with Juan's sister, Cynthia, about his life. Tell us about your brother. What was he like? Um, I have so many memories with him. We had such an awesome time together. We did everything together. We used to go out for Indian food all the time. He was great, always um, making jokes, making everyone laugh. We used, always used to watch sports together, and Sundays mostly um, football and soccer. What did he think about God? Well, Juan and I grew up in a Christian home. Um, we kind of never really wanted to go to church. Just went because we, we didn't want to get in trouble. Juan was not at peace with God at all. Um, questioned, Juan doubted, Juan wondered why. What was his purpose here on earth? Um, Juan would actually make us upset sometimes because he would just question God so much. So when did you see a change in Juan that you, you noticed his attitude about God being different? Juan and I were at church one Sunday and um, the message was about God's love and God's forgiveness and how we're all sinners and God is here to love us and forgive us. Somehow my brother Juan just got that message and it clicked. Juan from that point on um, still had his questions but he was able to feel God's love. Sometime later, Juan got some, some bad news. Um, tell us what happened. Um, Juan was diagnosed with uh, colon cancer, stage four, and um, he had it for a couple of years because by the time we found out Juan had cancer, it was already fourth stage, it was already terminal. But God's timing in speaking to him and just having Juan realize God's love for him was perfect because Juan's doubt wasn't there anymore. You know, it was kind of weird because we were all sad and um, he got this news. He was sad, but he didn't complain. He didn't ask why it happened to him. He started to worship more. He started to read the Bible more and journaling. I mean, you read his, if you read Juan's journal, you just see how this, this love that he felt for God was, was amazing. Thursday, March 29th, 2007. I want to thank you, God, for another beautiful day. Your grace is amazing. Monday, April 2nd, 2007. I am still processing this newfound love for my Lord Jesus. It is an everyday relationship. Talking to Jesus every day is important. He gives me feedback. I need to learn to talk to him every single minute. One of Cynthia's most treasured memories of her brother Juan is here at Eisenhower Park. I asked her to share a little bit about that day. We were there for hours just talking about life. He was just telling me how beautiful the trees and the leaves and the families walking around having a good time with each other. And it was kind of weird because he was this guy who kind of doubted God before and would always say, how do we know God's, God exists, you know? And here he is telling me, look around. That's how you know God exists. How else, would, how else would we be here in this world that's so beautiful, you know? Describe what happened last Easter. He really wanted to go to church for, for Easter. And um, he went with a couple of our friends. He actually, he had to go in a wheelchair because he wasn't able to walk, but he was so excited about going. And um, just to be surrounded by so many people and so much love that day was, was great. How does Easter give you hope now that that is maybe different from, from Easter in previous times of your life. Juan was, had a terrible diagnosis, a terminal you know, illness, but he still had hope. He kind of, Juan kind of felt like he was going home, I guess you could say, and um, my family and I feel hope that it doesn't matter what the situation is, God is still there with us. Easter means so much because it gives me hope that I will be in heaven one day as long as I go, I go to Christ and believe that he can forgive me for all my sin. I know I can be in heaven with Christ next to my brother worshiping God. Make my life some sing. Bring a smile to you. Friday, March 30th, 2007. Thank you for everything you've done with me, Father. Everything you have given me, taken away. You have a reason why you do the things you do. 
You, Lord Jesus, have everything in your hands. And for that, I am happy. <laughs>